We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30 with the Los Angeles Rams. The New York set to take the field. First down, Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. The first carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. And the Rams' defense gets to him again behind the line of scrimmage. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So certainly not the start they were looking for here as they come up on a third and 14. From the gun, Jones. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. From the gun, here's Goff. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. He's still fighting forward, and he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. Good run there. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A shotgun snap for Goff. And it's incomplete. Goff's pass thrown away and incomplete. It's third down and six yards to go. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Out of the gun, Goff. And able to find Higby, it's complete. And the Rams are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll look to run with Akers. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. 
It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally, a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal, and they sent that play backwards. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Again, it'll be Akers. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. And we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Gay set After the goal. touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Now, Deion Lewis to return. And he gets it to the 30-yard line, but the football's not going to stay there. There's a penalty marker down. So that will push him back. And now we know why I have a little extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back, that penalty will move them back. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll start with the option. They'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he's standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Jones. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. Here's Riley Dixon now, standing just about on his own goal line. Fair catch called for, no gimme in these conditions, but he's able to look this one in. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. At the 47-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Rams seven, Giants nothing. Second down and four. Gone. 
Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. It'll be a gain of four. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Open man, Higby, the tight end. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. Golf. That's into the hands of Akers complete. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage, but it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force, and they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. Goff now looks to throw. Incomplete. Cooper Cup was his intended target. And now it's second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and 10 now from the 27. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And down inside the 15 he goes. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's Gaw. They'll throw complete to Cam Akers. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. You know what the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? Bet you're going to tell me good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first is good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's gone. And this is going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Gay's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So the drive stalls out inside the 15 yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, 
that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. New York ready to go again offensively. And then a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. Jones now, throwing on first down, finds his tight end Ingram. But a good rally to the football, keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. I think it's okay there, they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily, put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Throwing again on second down. Jones, a yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Operating from the gun, Jones, and that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively, or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for New York. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Now Goff on first down. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now gone. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards there, just like last play. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 
Goff throwing again. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He hit his first. Now this from 43. And Gay knocks this one through. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So, barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And here's Lewis. So, we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. L.A. set to take over again on offense. They built a good first-half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some changes. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And that's caught left side. It's Woods. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. First down. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Going right back to Akers. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Off play action to Akers. Here's Goff. Looking deep downfield. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Here's Johnny Hecker now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And they won't get a chance to bring this one back. It goes out of bounds, back near their own 20. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. 
They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Seven yards to pick up there. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on him man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Let's go. You tighten it. Check, 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 check. Here's Jones. On first and ten, they'll complete this to Ingram is tight end. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the gun, Jones. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked the ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Third down. What we've seen so far in this game, they are not going to allow a big shot over the top. You can have whatever you want underneath. They'll give you that, but they're not going to let you beat them deep. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun. Jones got a man, Slayton. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. From the gun, Jones. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup. It's second and inches. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Operating from the gun, Jones finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play out of while you've got them locked on their heels. A first down carry for Barkley. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, Jones. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. The Giants on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. 
All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll run for it with Barkley. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And Barkley will try to punch it in, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A one-yard touchdown run from Saquon Barkley, and the Giants able to get this back within a touchdown. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. And that'll make it 13-7. Makes the score. Rams 13. Giants 7. turn it's Simba Webster and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line LA readies for its next possession they've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football Charles and the score is just a one score game now haven't had any points this half what gives let's go old school here all right let's get back to the basics get back to running the football high percentage throws find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards on the play, first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Here's gone. They got a man over the middle. It's Woods. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 more on that one, and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll go again here with Akers. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. So they'll 
behind the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Now it's gone. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Escaping the pressure right. He's got, and now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the Rams. They'll run on first down. Akers. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And still a little bit of time left, but the defense can't stop the clock. So three kneel downs should be enough to finish this one off. And they'll indeed take a knee. Second and 11. They'll run here with Akers. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. I think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs, both for loss. Now they have third and long coming up. So first and second down went in the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Goff with a kneel down here, and that should put a conclusion to this one. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football, so to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were throwing for a loss. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here, and it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoreless through the entire second half, but their first half output... That's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, okay, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue that along. But instead, it's goose eggs in the second half. Fortunately, enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from MetLife Stadium.